on the firewall setting panel, I can find a new tab which displays uh, the network configuration. By default, uh, this tab is in uh, read-only mode and SMC automatically retrieves and displays the information related to the firewall existing interfaces. The first interest is that uh, it is no longer necessary to connect to each firewall to get uh, the, the network information. But uh, the integration level is higher than that. SMC uses the network information uh, for other features. For example, here, uh, with the filtering rule, SMC resolves the object and provides the IP address. And SMC is also able to detect inconsistencies and raises alerts uh, through the consistency check. In this example, the rule uses an interface which does not exist and uh, thanks to this warning, I can easily correct the rule. With SMC 3.0, you also have the possibility to modify uh, the firewall network configuration from SMC. By activating the related option, uh, the tab is no longer in a read-only mode and I can do a modification, like here, uh, with this interface uh, I am disabling. The network modifications are pushed to the firewall when deploying the configuration. So I can work uh, on the configuration and apply it later, or I can also work on the configuration even if the firewall is not connected to, uh, to SMC. In the configuration I have just deployed, I have voluntarily deactivated the interface uh, which is used by the firewall to connect to SMC. It is embarrassing because uh, I now have to connect on the firewall to correct my mistake and sometimes I am not close to the firewall. Fortunately, uh, it won't be necessary uh, because the firewall has automatically detected uh, that its connection uh, with SMC was broken and it has restored uh, the previous configuration. The production is back quickly and I don't have to send someone correct my mistake on site. With SMC 3.0, I can manage my firewall network interfaces from SMC with a security mechanism which ensures the connection between SMC and the SNS won't be broken.